Something strange happened today. My shoulders hurt doing pull-ups? That has never happened before. But I switched the workout to a push session and I did weighted push-ups and that didn't hurt my shoulders? That's so weird. And that's it, another day of training every day until I die. But wait, training what exactly? Okay, I think it's time to finally take a closer look at my training program, split, exercise selection and preference, and more. I mainly focus on strength training via calisthenics and weighted calisthenics. No gym, but some basic gym equipment is used, like dumbbells and weighted vest. And that is the current backbone of my training. On the morning, I normally do biceps once or twice a week from five to eight sets different variations and on the other days I do shoulder and tricep focus exercises like shoulder presses or Turkish get-ups again once or twice a week and the other days I just go for walks on the afternoon I tend to go to the calisthenic park and that's where I do all the serious strength session as I said the basics pull-ups push-ups dips and some other stuff I also train legs once a week on the morning not with crazy amount of weight but I do train them also, I used to run and swim more, now I do both of them at least once a week. Finally, there's also the quote-unquote weird stuff that you see me do. Other forms of training, such as club bell and mace lifting, stone lifting, working on the countryside. I love it. Uh, these kind of things are in the schedule, I just do it when I feel like it. I'll wake up and say, okay, I'm going to go and lift rocks, and that's how it works. Wait, apart from all that, there's also a lot of incidental training which can be anything, I'll just be doing nothing and I'll start crawling, dancing, using a gripper, I'll practice front levers, I suddenly do more squats or push-ups. So the question is, what's missing from here, in my opinion? The simple answer would be everything, because I want to be able to do everything, any sport, and I would like to improve in literally anything, so it's never enough. But being more concise, I think that first of all, I should do more cardiovascular endurance. I'm not doing it for several reasons. I'm just maintaining a basic fitness level, but that's something that I would like to improve in the future. There's also the, let's say, mobility and stability stuff. I'm not doing enough yoga or those kind of exercises, and I think they are really important, especially for health. And finally, there's some gaps in the strength training. You know, yeah, back and shoulders are great. They're always being worked. But what about the legs? You know, what, what about hip hinges? I Squats are good, but I don't do enough uh, variation with leg exercises. I don't do Romanian deadlifts or any kind of deadlifts. And also abs, you know, I, I tried. I, I tried to put in the ab exercises in my routine. I tried to strengthen my abs, but that's that hasn't worked out yet. Some appropriate changes should be made, whether they are going to be made or implemented, I don't know. <laughs> Only the future will tell. And yeah, I need to come through with this one since yesterday's video was like short and not much. So today you get a more intense viewing experience.